The vast majority of news in the U.S. is controlled by five huge corporations, and News Voice is fighting back against media monopolies. It's the first ever entirely open, crowdsourced, democratized platform for news. Use the link right underneath this video to download the News Voice app for free. So we talked about the impeachment news, the House sending impeachment articles to the Senate. They've approved seven impeachment managers who will be effectively serving as prosecutors during the, the, the impeachment trial. I believe with a 99 percent degree of confidence that an acquittal for Donald Trump is what is awaiting us at the end of this trial. This has made Donald Trump short circuit. He immediately blew a gasket and started tweeting nonsense yesterday. Let's look at what happened as he learned that Democrats were indeed moving forward and sending articles of impeachment to the Senate, which remember he claimed to want initially when he was impeached in the House and Nancy Pelosi said, I'm going to hold the articles until such time that I believe I can get a fair trial. Uh, Donald Trump said she can't do that. She's got to move forward. It's got to go. Now that it's happening, Trump again blows a gasket. And there's a lot here because Donald Trump seemed genuinely thrown by this. Donald Trump tweeting. Crying Chuck Schumer just said the American people want a fair trial in the Senate. True. But why didn't nervous Nancy and corrupt politician Adam Shifty Schiff give us a fair trial in the House? It was the most lopsided and unfair basement hearing in the history of Congress. There are so many lies and deceptions there that, that it would take a long time to go through them all. The basement hearing thing. Remember, Republicans could be part of those uh, of, of questioning those witnesses and reviewing those documents. That's a lie. The nicknaming nervous Nancy, corrupt politician, Adam Shifty Schiff. I, I find it very funny. I find it effective. I obviously don't believe the smears that are implied there. And then again, the idea that there was no fair trial in the House. It's not a trial in the House. It's a hearing. Donald Trump was invited and he refused to go on the basis that it would not have been fair. But then he says the fact that he didn't participate is evidence of unfairness. Well, if you go and it would be unfair and if you don't go and it's unfair, that's not really an honest assessment of what went on. Donald Trump continuing on Twitter, going on to say, here we go again. Another con job by the do nothing Democrats again, do nothing. They impeached you. So they're doing something. All of this work was supposed to be done by the House, not the Senate. Trump seemingly misunderstanding how the constitutionally enshrined process of impeachment works. Then in comes Donald Trump Jr., not the dumbest of the Trump adult children, uh, but certainly not the one with the most common sense either, starting to tweet stuff like, for example, Rand is 100 percent right. If we hear from witnesses, we should hear from them all. Hunter, Joe, BS whistleblower, Schiff, etc. If Republicans continue the Dem one way sham because they're too weak to fight like Pelosi, they don't deserve to be reelected. And then, of course, what, what you have to understand is that they want to make impeachment about Adam Schiff or the Bidens. They want to out the whistleblower. This is not actually about Joe and Hunter Biden. We knew they would try to make it about Joe and Hunter Biden. But what Donald Trump did is what Donald Trump did. And the 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 cronyistic nature of Hunter Biden uh, being on the board of this gas company, uh, we can all agree it's problematic as a systemic issue, but it does not go to the specifics of what Donald Trump did. So uh, distraction, distortion, all of it. Then uh, Don Jr. retweeting some guy named Paul Sperry, who said, quote, Nadler just uh, Nadler just complained the Senate is engaging in a disgusting cover up by not putting on Democrats witnesses. But the only cover up is impeachment itself. Schiff, Pelosi, Biden. And he cites a name that is is uh, sometimes attributed to be uh, one of the whistleblowers, all trying to cover up their own roles in Ukrainian corruption. A O election interference, then retweeting Republican Congressman Lee Zeldin, who says the most relevant two witnesses on the obstruction of Congress charge are Jerry Nadler and Adam Schiff. So during this impeachment trial, there is going to be a persistent nonstop campaign of disinformation and distraction and character assassination. And we just have to be ready for it. We are looking at how much of the impeachment trial will, will be public. How much of it can we reasonably stream on YouTube and Twitch with commentary with the staffing resources that we have? Our resources were stretched basically to the max 
during the impeachment hearings in the uh, House Intel and Judiciary Committees, sometimes 12 hour streams in a single day. This is really important. So we're doing what we can to plan around how to bring as much of this to you on our platforms as possible. We want to be covering all of it. That's the plan. I'll hopefully have more information for you about that on Monday. The way this is expected to go is at first there will be like three to four full days of what the Senate would call housekeeping before the trial even starts setting rules and establishing procedures. They would then send a summons to Trump for a plea. I'm sure Trump will plead not guilty. They will then figure out which witnesses are we going to call? Are we sending subpoenas, scheduling witnesses? This could be weeks in total. The Senate has to vote on each subpoena. It's going to be wild. Mitch McConnell has said that the Senate will be in session six days a week to keep things moving. Bill Clinton's impeachment trial lasted five weeks. This one could be the same. It is going to start to overlap and conflict with the 2020 primaries. It is going to be an historic event. And we are going to be here for it to the extent that we can probably more news on Monday about the particulars. In the meantime, again, if you see a conviction at the end of this, let me know on Twitter at D Pacman or in a comment down below by leaving a comment. I do want to hear from you.